Hi, this is Randy Rice, and I'd like to give you just a little walkthrough of how to go through the e-learning environment. Uh, th this information will be very helpful as you uh, go through the materials, and uh, it'll save a lot of confusion. So these uh, very few minutes you spend here at the beginning uh, will, will pay off later as you go through the courses. So uh, you'll go to the course that you've uh, enrolled in, and the first time you go there, uh, you will be asked to provide an enrollment key. And so since I'm the administrator, I've already seen the uh, area, so uh, I don't have to provide an enrollment key. And, and you don't either the, the next times you go in. So the, the first time is the only time unless you go to a different computer or something, which you certainly can do. Um, just keep in mind you have to use the, uh, the enrollment key every time you go to a new computer. So basically the way that this course is uh, structured is that you, you have a lot of um, different things that you can go through and I've ordered these in modules and really the best way to go is the flow from the top to the bottom although you can go in any order that you want to here. But let's just say for example uh, as we look at this first uh, module if you click on the view pr uh, presentation link uh, then you will see the um, uh, the slideshow start. Now it's kind of interesting that I get this message here because it's a good reminder to let you know that you can resume where you left off. So like if you get halfway through a presentation and have to go to a meeting or something, uh, you can always come back in exactly where you left off. But I'm going to say no. Um, I, I want to just start at the beginning. And you'll notice down here that the player uh, will show you how far you're going uh, within a particular slide. Uh, you can also advance to uh, a slide. You can see the outline over here on the left, or you can advance through these buttons down here. You can also pause the presentation uh, on this lower button if you like. Now, also, the thumbnails for all the slides are over here on the left, and you can scroll down, down through those. Uh, and for the slides that do have additional notes, you can see those as well, or you can search. Uh, now, sometimes we'll have attachments. Uh, I don't have any in this module, but those would be would be found up there. It could be links or it could be um, other articles you may want to download or something. Uh, I would mention those in the narration and then that's where you would find those. Um, if you ever want to reach me, uh, you can see my direct email address. That's my mailbox that I check all the time every day. Uh, so if you're having problems, you can reach me there. Uh, or whoever the instructor is, I have their um, email in there. Uh, you can see my bio here if you're interested at all in that. And uh, th so that's really about it. You can see that the duration of the course, the total course, and how long, uh, how far along you've gotten in the course as well. Uh, so that's the the idea behind the uh, articulate slideshows. Now, if you want to have the notes at hand, uh, just click on the view notes button, and uh, there'll be a, a PDF viewer that comes up here. And uh, these are the very same notes that you would get if you were in one of our live classes. Uh, you can print these notes. Uh, and uh, right now you can currently download them. We may be taking that facility away before long. But at least for now, um, uh, you can see and download and even print uh, the notes. Uh, some people find that helpful uh, to be able to do that. Uh, then after each module is a module quiz and uh, you can go through and, and take the quiz and uh, these are just designed to reinforce uh, the, the thing that you are learning okay so they're not like certification questions or anything uh, so the question testing is the same as debugging um, no it's not uh, and so we can go on to the next one and a unit testing is that performed at the module level let's say false just on purpose there and you'll get feedback incorrect sometimes it will tell you the reason why it is incorrect. Uh, so there's 10 questions here. Um, at the end of it, I'm just going to hurry up and uh, and go through these. Um, at the end of it, you, you will see uh, an option that you can email me or uh, whatever. You get your total score. Uh, if the email isn't there or if the email doesn't seem to work for you, there is there are some configuration issues. Uh, that some people experience and that I just say take a screenshot of your final screen and then um, just keep it on hand if your boss or I need any kind of 
uh, documentation that you took the quiz, although I can tell when you've accessed a quiz. Uh, for the case studies, we have exercises that, that you can see down here, and then uh, also uh, we have uh, other kinds of module exercises here, and there are also uh, forums that you can participate in if you want to ask uh, other people questions about uh, particularly the, the topic um, that the forum is about there. So th there you have the, uh, the, the Moodle environment, the LMS. Uh, we have the uh, presentations, uh, the notes, the quizzes. One other thing, uh, we do have some video clips. Um, for example, uh, here in Google Test, we have a video for installing a uh, Google uh, test and you will uh, see this either start up in the same browser or um, or an, uh, a new browser and so if you get the the thing to start off in a new browser then just go ahead and, and click that button um, but anyway this will start playing the video and um, you can control it uh, either from down here or you can control it from the uh, button bar down below like we did before Okay, in, in the slideshow. Uh, now, one other final thing is at the very end, um, you will see the summary module typically. Uh, there's a course evaluation, and I would very much appreciate it if you would fill out the course evaluation. Uh, it gives me an idea of how we're doing in the course, and it also lets me know uh, where you would like your certificate mailed to. So, uh, you, you pick your title of the course from, from this list, and then uh, just give me your your rankings the best you can there and then uh, where you'd like your certificate sent and I will get that certificate out to you just as soon as I can okay so there you go uh, if you have any trouble at all if you have any questions at all feel free once again to send me uh, an email at rice at riceconsulting.com thanks a lot for viewing this presentation